back when I started selling beats, or when I first thought about starting to sell beats, I created this little website, trash. Oh, it's so weak. Put about five or six beats on there, and I thought, this is it. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a beat maker now, selling beats. Everyone's gonna come rushing to buy these beats off me. Wrong. The website was stale. Nobody was going to that website because no, no one knew about me. So I had to do a whole heap of research and trying to understand how to sell beats, how to put myself out there. So you could have just made a beat, but you don't know what to do. You don't know what to do with it next. Like how are you going to get yourself out there? How are you going to get people to, to hear your beat? So in this video, I'm going to share some tips with you so you can have like a an understanding, a little strategy in promoting your music, promoting your beats and getting yourself out there to make some sales. In marketing, it's known as the four P's. So we're going to use the four P's of marketing, which will give you a little strategy on how to get yourself out there and make some sales and make some connections and network, all of that good stuff. So grab a pen, pad or hit the notes on your phone and make some notes on what I'm about to share with you. Because yeah, it's, it's going to help you, definitely. It's helping me. I mean, who doesn't want to make money in their sleep? Passive income. What's going on YouTube fam? Welcome back to my channel. It's Casey. Hope you're well. Hope you're safe. We'll talk about the four P's of marketing in this video. So we've got some kind of strategy in place where we can put our beats out there. Instead of having them sitting on the hard drive, collecting dust, these strategies, we can make some sales, collab if that's what you want to do. So with this strategy in place, we can get our beats out there, get them heard, get them sold. If that's what we want to do. Build our brand and leave our day jobs. Before we dive into the video, let's quickly shout out my two new subscribers. Shout out AZ and Clive Booth. Thank you both for hitting that subscribe button and the notification bell because if you didn't hit the notification bell, then you won't hear your shout out today and you won't see future videos or you won't get the notification. You won't be part of the notification gang because being part of the notification gang is what, where it's at. It's important. <laughs> nah, I appreciate you for hitting that button. Means a lot. Favorite comment for this week is coming from Michael. I like the comment because it just shows the type of person you are, like open-minded. I, I think it's it's important to keep an open mind because you saying that you don't really do them genres and whatnot, but it still helps. I'm I'm the same. Like I watch a, a mixing video on mixing vocals. It could be rock music, but it doesn't matter because I can still learn something from it. So yeah, that's. I like that bro, that's it's decent. And thank you for the comment, I appreciate you. All right, enough of that, let's dive into this video. So like I mentioned already, the four Ps, the product, we can talk about product, which is your beat. That's just half the product. We've got to think about once we put it out there, how we're going to package this beat. So that could be your artwork, your YouTube video, Insta story, uh, Insta post, if you're putting it on TikTok as well. So, so what I like to do with my beats, once I've made it, is create some artwork. The YouTube thumbnail is just normally a screenshot from the actual video, which uh, YouTube does for me anyway, so this makes it nice and simple. If you want to get technical into it, if you want to start going, diving deep, then you can use somewhere like Canva, create a nice bit of artwork, which you can put onto your YouTube video. Same with when you drop it on Insta. The software that you can use to create your videos is something like After Effects. I use After Effects to get that pumping effect on the title. You can you can animate more or less anything within your video to keep it interesting. So when someone comes into your video, rather than just be a still photo, some people like to have glitch videos. Some people just have even plain artwork. It's whatever works for you. So if you want to just make it plain and simple, go for it. The product is your beat packaged with your thumbnail, fancy thumbnail, whatever you want to do. So that's what I do. That's the first thing. Then we've got to look at the second P, your price. So I've got my prices set on my website, MP3's £30, WAV £40. I think it works out to about $40 and $55. Price will be going up again soon because that's how we roll. But whatever your price is or whatever price you've come up with, roll with that. So that's your product and your price. So you could also be selling track outs, you could be selling custom beats, just know your price and set your price. So when an artist comes to your website or wherever you're, wherever you're selling your beats, they know how much they're expected to be paying for your beats. The third P, we're gonna look into place, where you're putting your beats. This could be your website, this could be Instagram, this could be YouTube. Where I put my beats is on my website, on Instagram and on YouTube. Start to dabble a little bit into TikTok, just, just marketing, showing me playing like a beat that I've made, I'll be on the keys playing and I've started to do that on TikTok because I've been seeing a lot of videos saying that you need to get on it on TikTok. So that's another opportunity for you to have eyes on the work that you do, which could increase beat sales. If you haven't got a website, drop a comment below and let me know because I've got a cool plugin for WordPress that I use and the, the website just looks amazing and it's really easy to use. So if you're interested in that, drop a comment below. I'll show you how you can set it up. Cost effective plus easy to run, easy to set up. That's it looks good. So when an artist comes to your to your to buy beats from you, you've got your own little hub where you can continue to update. I've done a whole video on why you should have a website. I think it's important for you to have a website. So if you haven't got one, then I would seriously consider looking to get a, a website set up for yourself. Can't just rely on these third party platforms because you never know what can happen. And it also allows you to keep updating it 
and also collect emails, which is another video I've done as well. Yeah, I've done a video on email list and building your email list. So place is the third thing, third P. Fourth P, promotion. How are you gonna promote your beat? If you're just starting off, you probably don't wanna be spending any money on ads. So you could, there's a couple of things you can do for free to promote your beats. First thing is obvious, just getting your beat out there, uploading it on your Instagram or your YouTube channel, and then getting your family and friends to hit the like button, share it on their page in their stories. This will help you to, to get more eyes on, on your beat. Get them sharing it, get them supporting you. If they're not supporting you, don't worry about it. Go to different beat maker communities, talk to other beat makers, comment, Genuinely comment on their stuff. Should in turn go to your page and check you out and drop a couple fire emojis, even if they didn't listen to, to your beat, but still it's getting eyes in it. So then that kind of will develop and hopefully, and snowball, I keep saying hopefully. Artists, go to artist pages, comment on their stuff, listen to their music. Don't spam, just say, that, look, I just create this beat. I think this beat will work perfect for you. Just have a listen. Don't force, don't beg. Yeah, don't beg. <laughs> just be natural with it. So you can do this with beat makers and artists, just, Go on their pages, go on their posts, like, comment, genuinely comment on their stuff. Most of the time they'll want to go and see who this person is that's commenting on their stuff. And then for your night, you've made a connection, promote yourself. That's a free way of promoting yourself. If you want to look into paid ads, like I use Instagram ads, I use YouTube ads, dabbled a little bit into Facebook ads. It's kind of confusing, but I'm getting the hang of it. If you want to start putting some money behind your ads, then this would definitely help to, to help you get your music out there and create more sales, connect with more artists. So now that you've got a better understanding of the four P's and how you can better promote yourself and boost sales, boost beat sales, now you've got a strategy you can use. This will help you to create your brand and how you market yourself. Be creative in how you're putting yourself out there. If you can play the keys, then maybe do some videos on you playing the keys with a beat that you just made you can sell without having to sell so don't always be on free beats for sell and this is my new beat for sell because it can kind of get boring unless your unless your followers are all artists and that's how you want to run your page that's entirely up to you but how i like to do mine is just throw in a few other things and then every now and again throw in a little salesy post because I, I i would get tired of following someone who's just on sales all the time. I don't really want to see that. And I'm sure someone else would be would get bored of you just doing that all the time. But like I said, if that's what you want to do, then go for it. So just to quickly recap the four P's, the product, your beat, nicely packaged with artwork and videos for YouTube, Insta, TikTok, if that's what you use. Second P, your price, know your worth and add tax. Third P is the place that you're selling your product, your beat, website, YouTube, email, Insta. I'm going to do a whole video on how, how you can sell your beats in these different platforms, even if you haven't got a website. Did I mention website? So yeah, that's your place of selling your product. And the fourth P, promotion. How are you gonna get your product out there? How are you gonna move and push through all the noise of all these other beat makers trying to be heard? How are you gonna do that? So you've got to come up with some creative ways on how you can promote your beat. Because like I said, who doesn't want to get paid in their sleep? Passive income's the way forward. And if you can do that with your beats, why not? Selling beats is a business. So you're gonna need a business strategy, business mind. It's not for everyone, but with these four P's of marketing, at least this give you a little heads up on stuff that you can do, which will help you to sell more beats. I mean, if you're paying taxes, <laughs> then it's a business. So don't let anyone tell you any different. If there's anything you're unsure of, or didn't understand, you need a bit more clarification on it, hit me up in the DM on Insta. I'm always happy to help or just drop a comment below. If you like this video at all, hit that like button. If you like these sort of videos, hit the subscribe button because there's plenty more coming. Hit the notification bell as well so you get notified anytime I put up a new video. As per usual, I appreciate your time.